Hello, and welcome to your eighth grade virtual promotion. I'm Heather Greer, the middle school principal. I want to begin by saying that I am sorry that the school year ended without closure and that many events did not take place. I know that many of you were practicing to compete on the middle school track team, memorizing your lines for the school play, fine tuning your performances for the spring choir and band concert, and looking forward to culminating your middle school years with eighth grade promotion. With this video, it is my hope to celebrate the achievements of the 2020 eighth grade class. I would like to begin with the first accomplishment of recognizing the presidential award winners for educational excellence. There were 16 students that earned gold certificates, which means those students earned straight A's. And there were seven students that earned a silver certificate, which mean they earned one B and the rest of their grades were A's. Our gold certificate winners are Rebecca Bellows, Merrick Boltz, Caden Donnelly, Adam Green, Tessica Choney, Marlene Hershenberger, Sam Kaichuk, Sydney McAfee, Corrigan Murphy, Ella Pierce, Grace Reiser, Sophia Scro, Sophia Smith, Isabella Tuxhorn, Hannah Walkvital, and Ellie Walker. Our silver certificate winners are Hugh Beeler, Emily Burton, Sierra Dove, Sarah Eddington, Zoe Hildebrand, Malia Johnson, and Ella Thomas. Congratulations to you 23 students. You should be very proud of your accomplishments. I would like to express my appreciation for everyone involved in the education of our children. First of all, to our dedicated faculty and staff on a great school year. Teaching truly isn't an easy profession. The demands of the job grow daily, especially when you throw in remote learning for the entire fourth quarter, something that we had never done before nor imagined ever doing. However, our teachers have always been up to new challenges and they continue to create interesting and engaging lessons to keep our students motivated to learn. They did this because they truly care about each one of you. To our parents who partner with us on a daily basis to help us achieve the goals that we have for our students, you had to wear a new hat this year and become an educator as well. You have been excellent examples for your children and we appreciate your leadership as well. Thank you. Students, as you venture into high school, I want you to think about this one last piece of advice. In order for success to occur in whatever you do, it takes a clear vision of where you want to end up and sustained effort throughout that entire process. You don't always have to be the most intelligent with the most ability, but what success does require is a strong work ethic. It's that simple. Work hard for something and you will earn it. Thank you for being the students that you have been and best wishes for continued success to come. Each and every one of you have met the requirements for promotion set forth by the Pleasant Plains Middle School and Board of Education. Congratulations to you all. Before I close, I do ask one favor. When I see you in the future, please be sure to say hello. I miss you all greatly. Take care, be safe, and stay healthy. Oh, hey there, eighth graders, didn't see ya. Hopefully you remember me. It's Mr. West, I'm your eighth grade history teacher. Uh, I know I've got a little longer hair and I'm wearing a tie. Um, but that actually reminds me of one of the things that I am really going to miss the most about 8th grade promotion. And that is the fact that it is the one night that you guys have to get dressed up. And it's often the first time that you guys have really had to get dressed up. And you're 
usually very, very uncomfortable in doing that. And it makes for a really entertaining night. So I'm sorry you guys are going to have to miss that. Um, but I promise you, you're going to have a lot of other opportunities uh, to do that. Let me say congratulations. Promotion is a big deal. And I'm sorry that it has to be in this form, but I don't think that takes away from the importance of all this. You guys are going on to high school next year. Um, you're going to have new challenges. And I am fully confident that you are all ready to meet those challenges. Um, I know that you guys have a lot of goals this year that you may or may not have gotten a chance to accomplish because of what happened. One thing I would say is that don't give up on those goals. Okay, use them as motivation going on to the next level. And I promise you that uh, things will, will get better in the end. Um, we have talked a lot about history in my class. Learn a lot about um, important people and important events. Um, when it comes to the people, I hope there's two things that you take away from, from my class this year. And it's two things that I think a lot of the people that we learned about have in common. Um, one is that hard work pays off. Okay. And two is that, you know, just because you fail at something doesn't mean you should give up. Now, these are two things that we saw happen time and time again in class this year um, and the important people that we learned about some of the things that they had in common is that they worked hard every day to accomplish what they wanted to accomplish and if they failed at something they didn't give up they tried again um, so keep those things in mind as you're going on to the next level to high school and beyond um, congratulations Good luck next year. Um, and before I go, two important things I want to settle the debate on once and for all. First, Jordan, better than LeBron. And second, iPhone, better than Android. Mr. West, out. Hi, guys. I would like to congratulate you on graduating from the eighth grade. I am so proud of your accomplishments this year. You've had your challenges, especially this last quarter, and you've overcome them with your strength and determination. I'm so proud of the person that you have become. Keep reaching for the stars, and I hope high school will be your best years yet. I would like to thank you for making my life so much brighter. I was lucky to have been your teacher. A little bit of each of you will always be with me. Always work hard and you will succeed in anything that you want to do. And if you put your mind to it, there is nothing you can't do. Remember, this might be the end of one chapter, but not the end of the whole story. And remember, I will always believe in you. Hey, eighth graders, it's Mrs. Jones, your art teacher. I hate that we're not in school so I can say bye to you one-on-one, -on -one, but at least we have this outlet that I can say goodbye to you and wish you well in high school. I've had you since fifth grade, most of you. Um, you've changed so much through the years up until where we're at now, and it's been really cool to be along with you on that journey. Um, I wish you all the best in high school. I know you'll do well, and I will see you around. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Mr. Gum. Uh, just wanted to take some time to congratulate you on uh, completing your middle school career. Uh, just think for most of you, uh, you'll spend what four years of high school, four years of college. So you got eight years left of education. So you're half you're halfway there. Sounds pretty exciting, huh? Um, but in all seriousness, uh, I really enjoyed teaching you guys. Uh, you are a smart, funny, um, athletic, hardworking group, um, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I wish you the best, and when you get a chance, uh, stop by and say hi. Good luck. 
Hello eighth graders, congratulations, you made it through middle school. Middle school is such a magic time and I know it's chaotic and crazy and it can be very challenging as well. But watching you guys navigate and grow through middle school has been such a rewarding experience for me as your counselor. I cannot wait to see what high school has in store for you guys. I appreciate you for trusting me um, with your experiences and your lives and for trying to keep me hip and happening along the way. I'm going to leave you with my favorite quote from Winnie the Pooh. If there's ever a tomorrow when we are not together, there is something that you must always remember. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you will ever know. But the most important thing is even if we're apart, I will always be with you. Yay, eighth graders, you did it, woohoo! You made it through middle school. Don't be strangers, come back and say hi. Congrats. Hey guys. Just want to tell you that we were going to miss you next year. Um, sad that we didn't get to finish out the year. You guys have always been an outstanding PE class, uh, and we've really enjoyed having you. I want you guys to have a great high school career. Stay healthy, stay active, and best of luck. Hello, 8th graders. Mr. Heise. Just want to say it has been a pleasure having you in class for the last four years seems like yesterday when you guys came to my room for the first time in fifth grade. You were so nice and polite. What happened to you? No, seriously, you guys are a good group. It's a lot of fun having you in class. Hopefully in high school you have a good time. Uh, you work hard, have fun, maybe be involved, join a club, play a sport, volunteer, maybe even get a job. Um, and also, remember, your GPA matters. So enjoy your summer, congratulations, and be safe. Congratulations to the eighth grade class of 2020. During our time away, I have enjoyed watching the documentary on Michael Jordan. It was an amazing story. I believe this series came out at the right time since we are in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. I learned many lessons while watching The Last Dance. There was no quit in Michael Jordan. He was determined to find a way and never made excuses. He never allowed himself to let fear of the unknown get in his way. So I challenge you to be like Mike. Don't quit, don't make excuses, and never let the fear get in the way of the unknown. You are amazing, remember that. Congratulations. Congratulations eighth graders on your promotion into the high school. Uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. I uh, missed you guys this semester. I wish we could have had more time in the classroom so I could have gotten to know you guys a little bit better but I think that uh, overall you guys have had to face a challenging time in your life and you're going to become stronger from this and be successful so I wish you the best of luck and thank you hey eighth graders I just wanted to say thank you for a great year and even though I didn't get to have all of you in class this year, I hope to see you all next year in my high school ed classes. Hello, eighth graders. First of all, congratulations on your promotion into your freshman year. I know that this year did not end the way that we all anticipated it to end, but I do have a positive message for you as you move forward into your ninth grade year. You are going to love high school. We've talked about this before in class. I've told you guys you're going to love the independence. You're going to love all the activities. You're going to love the new building. You're going to love all the new opportunities that you have. So don't be nervous or scared because you will love everything about high school. Enjoy those next four years because they go fast. So best wishes and have a great summer. Congratulations, eighth graders, you did it. I wish you all the success in high school. Good luck and have fun. Hello, eighth graders, happy promotion day. Um, I just wanna take a moment to, to say how proud I am of all of you. It, it doesn't matter if I had you in band for all four years or maybe just one year or we just passed each other in the hallway and said hello. So very proud of everything that you've accomplished here at the middle school and I'm so excited to see all the wonderful things that you're going to do next year when you start your high school career. Um, for the students that I had in band, you guys are just 
wonderful, wonderful people. You are great musicians, you have great character, very caring, very driven students, and it was so much fun to get to make music with you. I've been thinking back on all the different things you got to do over the last four years, from all the concerts we gave together, um, going to solo and ensemble contest, and to organizational contest, honor bands, all those great things that you accomplished, and I'm so very, very proud of you. Um, some of you I will get to see again next year and we'll continue making music together. Others of you, if you're moving on to other things, I wish you the very best of luck. And when you get to the high school in the fall, if you need a friendly face or somebody familiar to kind of answer questions or show you around, I would love to be that person for you. So please come over and say hello. Uh, keep me up to date on what's going on in your lives. And I, I think that it's going to be a wonderful experience for you in the high school next year. So have a wonderful summer, and I will see you all in the fall. Congratulations, 8th grade class of 2020. What an awesome class you have been. It's been really fun watching you uh, over these last four years move off from that fifth grade hallway all the way over to that eighth grade hallway and seeing you grow and learn so much over these last four years. I especially want to congratulate those of you that have been a part of choir, um, even if just for one year or for all four years. Um, it's been really fun getting to know all of you and I hope that music continues to be a part of your life as you move into high school. Congratulations to everyone again and best luck next year as you move into high school. Hey eighth graders, congratulations on making it through middle school. I have enjoyed having you guys in the building all four of your years. You guys are going to love high school, you're going to do amazing things and I am going to miss you so much. Again, congratulations. Well, eighth grade graduation got a little messed up. School got a little messed up. Sports and activities got a little messed up. And worst of all, life got a little messed up. Or did it? We can look back on the school year like this. We can be disappointed and we can be upset, but we still had a great eighth grade year. From the student sections to the games, uh, from the losses to the wins, and from the regional titles to the state titles. We're still Pleasant Plains, and when something like this comes, we're prepared to get through it. Everybody in this grade knows everybody else. Uh, you've probably heard this way too much and it's become cliche, but I mean it when I say we're all in this together. Not just eighth grade class, not just the middle school, not just Plains, but the entire world. This is the entire world. We are literally and truly all in this together. So I guess you can say everything is messed up. And you wouldn't be wrong. You could do that. Or you can look back on the year and see what we've done and see what we will do. The choice is yours. Happy graduation.